that sound again today with spring well underway. You know, some around the corner. We're just making sure that you're prepared for the potential of severe weather. That's right, and we have team coverage to make sure you and your family stay safe as we head into the severe weather season. And we begin with seven first alert meteorologist Kevin Jeans. Kevin. Hi guys. Well, it's important to kind of understand how we forecast severe weather days and what we're looking at. And this is basically a setup of what it looks like and a typical day where you could see widespread tornadoes. You can, of course, have different variations, but this is the typical setup. Low level jet, that's air, river of air, essentially just a, a thousand feet or so, or a couple of thousand feet above the ground. And that's pumping in some warm air and a lot of moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. The other feature we watch for is what the jet stream is doing. And if it dips to the south like this, it's the eastern edge that you watch and keep a close eye on. And basically you have upper level winds that are out of the southwest about 15 20,000 feet up and then you have strong lower level winds that are out of the southeast. And so that's how we could get some rotating thunderstorms. So when you have that kind of setup, it's this area what you watch for that could bring the risk of tornado development. Now, this is a tool we also use, you know, likely see us show these types of maps. This is from the Storm Prediction Center, and this is the actual severe threat for Friday. This does not necessarily mean tornadoes. It could just mean strong wind gusts or potentially some severe thunderstorms, but you'll likely see this map during severe weather season. This is how we typically look maybe two, three, four days ahead at what days could be a high risk day for severe weather, but it's not a seasonal outlook. We can't really go out and think that this month or two months from now will be more active than previous months, other than you're just looking at the spring season. And overall, that's a time you really need to be alert to the forecast. And this is how we keep you up to date on and let you know what days could pose a higher risk than uh, than other days. And as you just heard, there's also a statewide tornado drill later on this afternoon, right?